I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all. Hey, you guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be sharing our Christmas clean and decorate. I do have my little helper with me today. I know quite a few of you guys have been waiting for this video, so I'm really excited to share it. I love creating decorating videos, especially during the holidays. They are so fun to make, and I just get to use my creativity in a different way. So I always enjoy that. So what we're starting with is bringing in all of our holiday decor bins, carrying them in the house so we have easy access to them and we can pull out all of all of the things that we're going to be using today. The dream I knew this Christmas I only want to be close to you. So we're going to start with going ahead and clearing this space. We're also going to get it vacuumed. If you are new to the channel or this is the first video you're seeing of mine, this is my daughter Ava. She's seven years old. You won't see her often in my videos, but here and there when we're decorating, especially decorating the Christmas tree or doing something fun around the house that she wants to be involved with, then you'll see her here and there. So my go-to colors the last couple of years have been red and white. That is not changing this year. One of the things I didn't want to do is go out to the stores and buy a bunch of new decor. So, so far I'm doing good with it. I still have some more decorating around the house after this video. So we will see, but that is my goal is to not purchase anything new. Magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. So we're going to go ahead and just add some garland in this window open area and then a few pieces of decor. As you remove that snow. We're gonna go ahead and decorate the coffee table. This is one space that I'm still kind of working on. I just put a few pieces on the tray and just kind of kept it simple. But I might go ahead and switch around some of my decor once I'm done decorating all over the house and seeing what I have left. And sometimes you have to do that. I'll play around with spaces and pieces and kind of switch them around. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and add this house and candle and the beaded garland. Also, do you see my baby in the back? She is retired and done for the day. <laughs> we look out the window as it's starting to snow and I realize as you had me So since we just rearranged the living room and moved the small couch on this side of the wall, I was unsure if I was gonna be able to fit all these stockings up. I was able to fit the four of ours, but I haven't put up Remy's and then I wanted to make a new one for my mom because she is staying with us right now. She moved to Arizona recently and she's gonna be purchasing a home. So she's staying with us for the time being. So I definitely need to get a stocking up for her as well. Upon a star, would it be too much to wear? I'll place forever in your arms and 
for this moment to because I'm so I had to go ahead and vacuum again because there was that flocked powder all over the floor lots of glitter so I wanted to get that up so we're not tracking it all around the house So now we're gonna go ahead and do the throw pillows. I have throw pillows that have covers on them and I'll reuse them throughout the different seasons. And then I have ones that are stored away in the closet that are just extra. So I am putting some of these holiday or Christmas pillow covers on these pillows. And then some of these pillows go upstairs in my bedroom, which you'll see in the next video. And then the non-seasonal pillows just get stored into these bags, which you can zip these up and keep your pillows just like clean from dust and keep them secure in here and it helps save space. I'll go ahead and get the Amazon link for these because they have been so useful since we purchased them and they're super affordable and they'll just help you keep things organized and keep your pillows protected. So stay tuned to the end of the video because I will do a bunch of shots of the hole downstairs to show you how everything turned out. I also like to start off with cleaning the kitchen and cleaning as I decorate. I don't wanna put that off because when I'm done decorating, I want everything to just look neat and festive and everyone can enjoy the decorations. So as for the hot cocoa bar coffee station area, I'm just going to decorate it really simple this year. I'm just adding a couple of pieces of decor. I just want things kind of minimal in this area. So technically it's not really going to be a full hot cocoa bar like I've done in the past, but I will be adding some hot cocoa and marshmallows into jars over there and just having like a simple space or station for my family because my family loves hot Coco, husband, the kids, so I definitely have to have something up there. So we're gonna dive into a little bit more cleaning because I can't ignore my glass stove top right now. This looks a mess. So we are gonna go in with this cooktop scrub cleaner. It's by Weeman. It's amazing. I like it. And so I'm gonna show you how good of a job it's The snow does. is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy, but now this year so there were a few little areas that I couldn't get up. So I went ahead and used this Weeman's Blade. It does a great job. And now it's all done. It's super clean. And that is all the stuff that we got up from the glass stove top.
that I've lit something in me. See you coming closer from across the room. My heart is pounding really fast. I don't know what to do. Could we fall in love in this winter wonderland? So this year I have found myself simplifying different things in my life and that is this space right here. I used to have a two-tiered tray that I would put a bunch of decor on and I've kind of retired that and I'm just doing something more simple with just a few pieces on it. When everyone's around to share this holiday. So here's a little behind the scene action. I needed to clean up everything so I can finish decorating the kitchen table. And I was showing you guys a couple pieces like dishware, holiday dishware that I also store in these bins. I went ahead and take, took those out and put those in the sink so I can clean them and use them this season. <laughs> So I'm done with the downstairs area. I love the hints of Christmas all over. And then the living room is looking cozy, which is, there's just a perfect amount of Christmas in there for me. Also, these are our Christmas photos that we took a couple years ago, I believe. I don't think it was last year. I think it was the year before. And we got these printed off from Mixed Tiles. I love them. They came out really good, but we took these photos ourselves. We just put a tripod up and did the settings and everyone posed and there you go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it go ahead and comment down below and say hi i hope you guys are all doing amazing and i hope you guys have a wonderful thanksgiving and a great week i'll see you in the next one Sleigh bells ringing. Sleigh bells ringing.